pass to the apothecary. The apothecary is doing our bar service tonight. We're very grateful for them tonight. Just know that the after event at the apothecary, if you're interested in going there, 50% of the proceeds go to the Spirit of Atlanta Drum and Bugle Corps. So uh, if you're looking for a place to go after the show tonight, that would be the place. Uh, we also are particularly grateful for our title sponsor, uh, Holly and Mo Mafos. Uh, they, Holly was unable to be here tonight. Holly knows everybody that's ever marched this drum corps and their and their family. Um, but if you ever see Holly, thank her for the time that, and, and the gener generosity that she and Mo have for this particular event. And we also are particularly grateful to Matt Gore and Nightglass Media Group for our trophies and flags presented tonight. Somewhere over there, we have our very first perpetual plaque that has everybody's name on it in the Hall of Fame. They'll be hung in the core hall. We're very excited to have that piece there and very grateful to Night Glass for providing that for us. This time, I am pleased to introduce them. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Feel free to clap. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to walk on that. Um, and, and people think that I'm mean about the time. It's because every meeting we had, Matthew and Matt would tell me to make sure that everybody knew how important time was. So I'm going to stop talking now. It's my pleasure to introduce the Executive, uh, Executive Director of the Spirit of Atlanta Drumming Bugle Court, Jason Burns. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Wow. Um, it is incredible to be standing in front of all of you, especially with this great class that's here tonight. Um, I know what a lot of you are thinking, especially when I get up here. How do you look? Here comes that man asking for money. Um, but it takes a village and a community to keep this drum corps up and running every year. Uh, unfortunately, for this activity, it's not just Spirit of Atlanta but it's the entire drum corps community uh, that is feeling the pinch from a financial perspective. This season, it's gonna cost us about $1.8 million to put the corps on the field. But I've got some good news. Last year, this drum corps, with your help, had a record-breaking fundraising year, $250,000 we raised. Fantastic. And I've got some even better news. We are well on our way to breaking that record this year, uh, getting probably upwards of around four to $500,000 this year. Now, we're not gonna get there if I can't convince all of you to help us out a little bit. So for those of you who were at the event last year, I think you might remember we had a little something on the table to help you uh, nudge you along a little bit. If you want to take a look at the coasters that are on the table, the Spirit of Atlanta coasters, and turn those over, there is a great QR code there for you. In this room last year, we raised $8,000 for our sponsor a meal program. This year, I have a challenge to all of you. I want to take that to $12,000 this year. So if all of you would take your phones out right now, Take a look at that QR code and help us to sponsor a meal this year. Help put food in, in our kids' bellies as they get down the road this season. And help us reach that goal of $50,000 for sponsor a meal. It would be greatly appreciated. I know that on, on behalf of myself, on behalf of the core staff, it would mean the world to us for you to help us and support us in that cause and that effort. So we'll talk a little bit later on tonight and tell you how we're doing. Uh, announce it in the room, but for those of you who can, uh, jump in, help us out, sponsor a meal, sponsor two, sponsor three if you'd like to, sponsor a whole day. We'd love that even more. Um, but again, we can't do this without all of you. Thank you for your, your love, support, your kindness, and for, uh, for really supporting this organization and helping us keep it running year after year. Uh, speaking of year after year, something very special is going to be happening here in the next couple of years. Spirit of Atlanta's 50th anniversary. And we've got something planned next year to help us kick off that 50th anniversary celebration. Uh, our alumni corps is gonna be doing some pretty special stuff. And I'm gonna have Brad Carraway come up here and tell us a little bit more about that. Please welcome Brad Carraway to the podium.
Real quickly, uh, my name's Brad Carraway. I'm with the Alumni Corps. We consider what we're doing to be the kickoff of the 50th anniversary season. Uh, we need you. We need all the alumni to help with this. We've laid the foundation. We have a show. We've got a staff. We need members. If we can pull this off, it'll be a great deal of fun. The reason we're doing this, the reason we're doing this is to help the Junior Corps provide a positive public relations event, involve and activate as many alumni as possible to be involved with the Corps, and to have a great time. We want to create positive publicity and involvement from the alumni. And this is how we're going to do this. We have got over 12 members of the Spirit of Atlanta Hall of Fame who are directly involved with the Alumni Corps. Performers, staff, instruction, nobody's taking a penny. It's all labor of love. But there's that much involvement of our own people, your people, that are in the, in the Hall of Fame now. Sal Salas, Robert Smith, we're also in the DCI Hall of Fame. Actually, Sal's in every Hall of Fame you can. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, it's a great staff. If you're old enough, you may remember an instructor named Paul Lateau, who was involved in the Spirit of Atlanta early on. Paul has, I've been in communications with Paul about what we're doing, and he said this staff is a staff most top 12 drum corps would love to have. We're not paying anybody a dime. So that's, that's what this is, and that's what we're doing. Now, we've, had, we've laid the foundation the last couple of years. Now, we're planning to try to perform in 2025 at DCI Finals on third, Friday night? Friday. Friday, Friday night. night. And we're looking at that as the kickoff of the 50th anniversary season. We have a lot of people that have signed up expressing an interest in what we're doing. We need more people to commit to what we're doing. We think this is worthwhile. We think it'll benefit the junior core, competing core, sorry. Um, and our people that are doing it now are having a great time. If you don't want to see John Armstrong and Mark Wisenant at the karaoke bar in Harrelson County, <laughs> Doing up against the well, it's, it's an old song. We need all of you to help us. It's be very special. If you marched in years at the drum corps that you didn't have a great time, come back now because this will be a great time. Uh, there's no we, we don't put up with any drama, no egos. Leave that in the parking lot. We mean for this to be a positive experience that will help our younger members in the competing court. So, if you had a great time, come back. Come home to us. If you didn't have a great time, come home to us. We'll show you one. Either way, come back to your old sweet song. Thank you.